This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is the LG Expo for AT&T. This is a Windows Mobile 6.5 smartphone that is running on a 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor made by Qualcomm. That's a very fast CPU, and this is the first U.S. phone to actually have that processor. Overseas, the HTC HD2 has that processor, but that phone hasn't made it to the U.S. yet, if it will at all. You can see here you have call, send, and end buttons, back button. Over here you've got volume buttons. This is the headset and USB connector. Thankfully a headset comes with it since that's a, a not a standard headset connector. This mount over here is for the stylus, which is something probably you guys are never going to want to carry around. Hang it from the lanyard like so. I'll show it to you. Whip it open and telescopes out. The phone does need the stylus. A lot of user interface really is traditional Windows Mobile and does need that stylus, unfortunately. On this side of the phone, we have the LG Application Launcher multitasking button here. This is the camera button. This phone does have a 5 megapixel camera that takes quite nice pictures. You can see the lens back here. And there's a small LED flash. That's the micro SD card slot. Happily, you don't have to take the phone apart to access the card slot. And that's about it for controls. Open it up and you see one of the nicest keyboards on the market. This is just as pleasing to use as the HTC Touch Pro 2. It's got huge clicky keys here. They're not offset to match the offset on a desktop keyboard like the HTC's is, but other than that, it's, it's fantastic. The slider mechanism is sturdy and firm. There's not too much jiggle wiggle here. Now let's take a the you look at the user interface. Right now we have LG's UI enabled, which gives you pretty much a whole lot of nothing over here, and then a touch-friendly launcher here where you can scroll through a variety of programs. And if you tap the up arrow, you can see a couple of common settings that are available here for your rings, flight mode and uh, wallpapers and a tutorial. When you first turn on the phone, in fact, it gives you a tutorial on how to use the LG Class UI, as it's called. You tap the Start menu. You see the standard Windows Mobile 6.5 Start menu. That itself is quite finger-friendly. Up here, as you can see, these guys are teeny, so you start to need the stylus. Up here, we have handy little controls that LG has provided with their home screen. This turns Wi-Fi on and off. This turns Bluetooth on and off. You're going to want a fingernail or a stylus to do that. And you've got a clock over here. Let's take a look at some of the programs that are installed on the phone. This here is something called LG Menu, which kind of reminds us of uh, a third-party launcher from a couple of years ago. It's... Uh, quite a lot of icons you can see on screen here and each row scrolls individually and they're themed for example this is communications you have your email contacts call history this is multimedia for the music player AT&T's uh, CV streaming video player and here's GPS Pocket Express a lot of the AT&T pre-installed stuff and settings related things are on the bottom We turn it like that, the icons become really teeny and overwhelming looking. I'm not sure that this is really the best kind of launcher. If you don't like the LG UI and software, obviously you don't have to run this program, and you don't even have to enable the home screen. You can have the vanilla Windows Mobile 6.5 home screen. This has a GPS with AT&T Navigator. We're going to take a look at that now. That's a $10 a month subscription service that gives spoken turn by direct spoken turn-by-turn -turn directions, POIs, and traffic information. This has a large 800 by 480 pixel resolution display, so it's very good for viewing maps. And you've got zoom controls right here on screen. You kind of see that old-fashioned connecting to AT&T a lot for data connection. It really should be hiding behind the scenes on a modern phone. So you've got Zoom out controls, and every time it has to load a new map, it lets us know it's connecting. <laughs> so 
So that's AT&T Navigator. Since the phone has a fast CPU and a high resolution display, web browsing should be a pleasure. Unfortunately, unlike most recent phones that we've reviewed, higher end phones, this doesn't come with Opera, which is a very capable web browser for Windows Mobile. You just get the standard IE Mobile 6, which doesn't do a terrible job of rendering. It's certainly an improvement over older versions, but it's not exactly the fastest browser. It does try to support inline flash, uh, however, that can sometimes overwhelm the browser and slow it down. So there we've got AT&T start page, rendered with fairly good fidelity, and you can scroll around using your finger. So the phone supports uh, mobile video, otherwise known as CV, which is AT&T's streaming video service. So here we are on the page, which is really just a web-based page. And we'll take a look at what's going on in ESPN. It uses Windows Media Player Mobile to play the videos. There's no custom player. Plays it in a small window. See if we can bring it up for you in full screen. So that looks pretty good. Phone also has an FM radio, and it doesn't have any special players for for video playbacks. You're just going to do the standard Windows Mobile thing there, with Windows Media Player Mobile, or install third-party players. Since this is Windows Mobile 6.5, it supports the Windows Mobile Marketplace. We'll take a look at that real quick. You can download and purchase applications here. You can also just download free ones as well. So here we have the very giant Win Windows Mobile Marketplace front page, but once you get into categories and things, it makes, it makes much better use of the screen real estate. You just pick something you're interested in, like communications, and then you can scroll through these and tap on anything you're interested in. And you'll get a nice long description, which is good. It's a little bit better than the Android market, where sometimes those descriptions are pretty terse. So you're not really sure what the app is about or if you want it. There, if there are any reviews, you can tap on that to see them. And then there are screenshots of the application and a shortcut to get to more. So that's the Windows Mobile Marketplace. It's a good start for Microsoft. Probably take them a while to get to 100,000 applications like iTunes, but... Okay. So that's the LG Expo. It's available now on AT&T. It's a Windows Mobile 6.5 smartphone with a touch screen. And I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Visit our website to read the full review.